Hello dear children, here is your chapter Water and Weather. Children, we all need water and use it for so many purposes. Plants and animals also need water. We find water in oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds, wells and in springs. It is also present under the ground. Water is present in all the things we eat and drink. It is also present in the bodies of plants, animals and human beings. Children, do you know about 70% of our body is made up of water? Forms of water Water has three forms. Ice, water and water vapor. Water a liquid form. The water which we drink is a liquid form of water. Ice is a solid form of water. And a steam is a gaseous form of water. When we boil a water that change into water vapors or a steam that is a gaseous form of water. So we can say that water exists in three forms solid, liquid and gaseous. Changes in the forms of water Children, water can be changed from one form to another means it can be changed from solid to liquid or from liquid to solid by a cooling or heating. These ice cubes can change into liquid by heating and that liquid water can change back into ice cubes by cooling. Evaporation When water changed into water vapor by heating, that process is called evaporation. When we boil a water, then water changed into water vapors. That process is called Evaporation Evaporation is taking place all the time in all the water bodies. If you keep a glass of water outside, then you will observe that after some time that water level will go down due to the evaporation of water by the heat of the sun. When you kept your wet cloths outside, then after some time our cloths dry up and it is due to the evaporation. Condensation Condensation is the reverse process of evaporation. When water vapor change into water by cooling, that process is called condensation. Here you can see that these water vapors when they come in the contact of cool plate, they change into liquid. The process is called condensation. When you pour a chilled water in a glass of water, then you will observe a small drops of water on the outside surface of glass that is due to the condensation. Changing weather Weather changes from day to day, hour to hour and month to month. Sometimes it is sunny, bright, cloudy, windy, hot and cold. And these change in weather is caused by the sun, wind, clouds and rain. Sun Sun gives us heat and light which make the days bright and warm. Sun is overhead in the noon time and the rays fall straight on the earth during the noon time. That's why our afternoon is the hottest part of the day. Morning and evening time are not warm because the sun is on one side and slanting rays fall on the earth. These are the positions of the sun 
during the day. You can see here that in the morning and evening time the sun is on one side and falling slanting rays of the sun. But in the noon time sun is overhead and it falls straight rays on the surface of earth. Wind Moving air is called wind. When the wind is blowing softly that is called breeze and when the wind is blowing strongly that is called storm. Children that storm cause a lot of damage. These can uproot trees and blow away huts or kacha houses. And during summer hot winds blow and we call these hot winds loo. That loo makes the weather uncomfortable and unpleasant. And during winter cold winds make the days very cold. Clouds the sky is covered with clouds on a cloudy day and on these days sun rays cannot reach us. So cloudy days are cooler than sunny days. But children cloudy nights are warmer because the clouds do not allow the heat of the earth to escape back into the atmosphere. That's why cloudy nights are Warm. Rain. Clouds bring rain which cool the earth and give water to plants. That rain brings relief and comfort from heat and fulfill farmers wishes. But children too much rain cause floods they damage crops, buildings and too much rain can take the lives of animals and human beings. Water cycle Children, in nature water keeps on changing its form. Water evaporates from the oceans, rivers, lakes and ponds by the heat of the sun. The water vapor formed move upwards. When water vapor goes very high in the sky, it comes in contact with cold air and cools down to form drops of water. The tiny drops come close to each other and form clouds. As the clouds cool further, the tiny drops become large and heavy and fall down in the form of rain. The rain water then flows down to the ponds, lakes, rivers and finally to the sea. This completes the cycle and this cycle is called water cycle. Water cycle is the process of water evaporating and condensing on planet earth in a continuous process. Weather affects our daily life. When the weather remains the same for a period of time we call this period a season. Children, we have four main seasons in our country. Summer season, rainy season, winter season and spring season. Summer season. In summer, the days are longer, very warm and dry. Afternoons are hot and we like to sit under shade, cooler and AC. And we like to wear loose light colored cotton cloths. And we drink a lot of water and other liquids. We eat fruits like watermelon, mangoes and lychees in summer season. Rainy season Rainy season comes after summer season. We need an umbrella or a raincoat in this season. 
roads and footpath become slippery plants grow well in this season but children heavy rain also cause floods and cause damage to crops houses and it also take lives of animals and human beings winter season winter days are shorter and cold and nights are long and even too much colder we wear woolen cloths and use blankets and quilts we take hot tea coffee or milk to keep ourselves warm some animals hide themselves from cold in their shelters or underground burrows children we get apples oranges carrot cabbage red, radish and cauliflower in this season and children in the coldest parts of our country there is a snowfall in the winter season so people who live there light fires to keep themselves warm in their houses spring season spring is a very beautiful season flowers bloom everywhere and trees sprout new green leaves this weather is a pleasant and children love to play outside in spring season children in spring season days and nights are equal and the air seems to be full of colorful bees and butterflies in spring season thank you